Hello everyone, welcome to Mishi Blue Tarot. This is Neelam. And today I'm going to be looking at energies that you can expect in the next three months. So what can you expect in the next three months? Like maybe some changes, some developments, some growth, some downhills. We will see whatever messages want to come through for you. Um, I'll try to channel and I'll also see um, through the cards what I pick up. Okay, so we'll first look at the options for you. So pile one will be this Rose Quartz Tower. Yeah, I hope you guys can see it. Pile number two is going to be this Amethyst. I can see it. I think you can. And pile three will be this black tourmaline here. So we're looking at the energies for the next three months. What can you expect? And what is it going to be? Basically what is coming in the next few months. So just pause for like two, three seconds and you guys can pick your bias. Okay. We'll begin with pile number one. Whoever chose the Rose Quartz Tower. Okay, pile one, I see you coming out of a very dry situation. Now, this could be that you are probably not in a very um, comfortable space. You could be feeling very unheard and you're coming out of there. Whoever has chosen this particular pile, Rose Quartz Tower. So let's see what's happening in the next three months for you, pile three. three next three months for you see I told you coming to life okay I'm sensing a catalytic reaction so I see that there is an energy in your life which is pushing you to make a change and that is for sure. This energetic shift that you are experiencing is because of the energy of a particular person. However, I'm seeing that it might feel difficult but it is doable by you. For some of you, I'm also seeing that you will have a conversation with somebody which will make the path for your future. Like this conversation can be around your um, appraisal or your in general with somebody who you think uh, you want to have this chat with for a very long time but you haven't had it or for whatever reasons you haven't spoken or you have you've chosen to keep quiet i'm seeing that you will have this conversation pile one you will try something new and it's a very uh, nice energy that i'm picking up you will try something very different very innovative this is something that you probably would not have thought of trying in the past because uh, you felt that maybe this is out of your caliber but you are trying this now let me just pick some more cards i'm choosing my decks very intuitively today and i'm feeling that energy also very strong but yeah let's see next 
next three months for you, I want. Okay, I saw this guy while I was shuffling. So he's back again. If you're trying to resist a connection at this point, and I want to take my specs off and talk to you, because I feel that I'm directly communicating with certain people, and I think I need to see this in you. Hear me out. If you're trying to resist something that is beyond your control, then why are you even trying to do that? Have you tried to ask yourself this question? And it's not like you haven't tried this in the past. You have, right? You have. You have tried it, but it has not worked, has it? No. Then why are you putting in effort in a direction where you don't have control? How on earth do you think you're going to resist something that is so divinely connected? Look at the cards. I have the Emperor, I have the High Priestess, I have the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun. There's a reason behind this situation. Like I said, a catalyst, a person accelerating this change. There is a reason why this person has come in your life. There's a reason why whatever is happening is happening. You are trying to interrupt the natural process. So obviously, if I decide today that I don't want to be, um, if I want to like change my face or if I don't like something about myself and I want to change it, so obviously it will take time and it will be next to impossible for me to do or bring about certain changes. Certain changes I can, but certain changes are totally not in my control, right? So then what are you trying? I think you're just a little caught up in the definition of right or wrong, okay? And that is causing this whole discomfort in you. Someone has taught you that this is right, so I should be doing this. In the next three months, I see this person not leaving your life and bringing about this change, which we just spoke about. So instead of putting your energy in resisting this person or resisting this energy, why don't you put your energy towards what this is pointing out to? That will be uh, the correct way of dealing with this situation. Why don't you do that? Why don't you put your energy in that direction? Okay. I'm also seeing that at the back of your mind, you already know that this path is leading you towards happiness, but you're just being adamant about something. Either you just want constant validations or you're just trying to figure it out or something. But hear me out, my loves. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as you think it is. Maybe it's a conditioning that um, you have been attached to for a very long time and just breaking that conditioning for you of always trying to uh, box things as per right and wrong that could be something that uh, is problematic see you're made for certain things pile one whoever has chosen this reading or this pile you guys are my intuitive stars and it's more like you're trying to be away from things that you're meant to be doing and the next three months can be overwhelming i'm not going to sugarcoat the next three months can be overwhelming for you but it's necessary also. It's important also for you to see things the way um, you haven't seen them yet. Next three months.
I have the ocean waves and this is 27 so this also sums to number 9 which is about completions and I have rain and renewal so this is actually telling me that you will be erasing certain family line traumas for a lot of people it's not just you but this is going to be for um, quite a lot of people like maybe in your family or people who you know or um, you must have seen this tendency I'm giving a small example like probably you belong from a family where no one is a dancer okay probably you belong from a family where nobody is an economist okay you're breaking that you're shifting that perspective and you're bringing this change in the world or with i mean basically bring this change in your family and also in a way in the world because i'm seeing that you're very strongly connected to a twin flame energy pile one um now having said that i mentioned twin flame but that doesn't mean that this is about romance or not about romance for that matter i hope all my audience out there the community out here understands that love is a eye opening force okay so it is opening your eyes be it through a twin flame connection it can be through a karmic also okay but here i'm picking up a very strong vibe of a renewal and such a renewal can only happen if you know your twin is around or um, the energy is very initiated and that can only happen in a twin flame journey okay now having said that at this point the next three months it is going to be overwhelming okay it is going to transform you and you will see that there are new things and new situations that have opened up out of nowhere and it just feels very comforting also maybe initial days might not feel as comforting but eventually it will get there and i'm so happy about that pile one eventually it will get there eventually it is going to get to a point where it it is not going to make you uncomfortable any longer and the reason why it's uncomfortable is because you're resisting something inevitable that is what is happening here okay now i just wanted to pick up um two cards to guide you these three months changes overwhelming new things a person acting as a catalytic source for this change and you're renewing something in your family line that is for sure and of course we've picked up the twin flame vibe here i asked for two cards and i had two cards in my hand here you go you'll find yourself in an absolutely new place pile number one you'll find yourself um feeling newly feeling clean okay and i'm using the word clean because that's the word i'm picking up clean purple um very close to angelic energy where anything that was blocking you anything that was stopping you from being your best version all that is going and leaving your life and you're happy okay and you're knitting a new story for yourself in the next 3 months for some of you guys you might just become public speakers um but i'm seeing majorly this is about embracing this new phase of your life and it can be overwhelming but it's here and it's beautiful that's what i'm seeing i don't get any negative vibe other than you just resisting this change and that can feel slightly heavy and that's pretty much it okay that's what i have for you guys pile number 1 do let me know in the comments and i would love to hear from you this is beautiful it's serene um I'll see you soon. Private readings are open. You can reach out to me. Take care and I love you. Bye-bye. All right. So, whoever chose pile number 2, the amethyst here. Let's see. 
what's the energy that we pick up for you actually want you to just keep looking at it for some reason What, are, what is coming up in the next three months for pile number two? It is definitely do with your love life. Love life, love life, love life. I can just hear it. I see a heart, I see cupids, I see the red color. And I also see somebody kind of getting scared of a connection, but let's see. What shifts, what changes in the next three months? I have the hanged man, the sun, the world and chariot. Okay, four major arcanas for you guys. I'll pick up one card from here. Okay, so for some of you, what I'm picking up, you could be hearing a song in your dream or you could be connecting to one particular song, a lot, maybe. Now that song is coming to you from your ancestors. You are holding on to, um, you no, this is not even holding on actually. This is power. Uh, maybe one of your people, or this could be in the same bloodline or this could be a teacher who has given you the same knowledge to carry it forward. Now I'm seeing that this knowledge that you have is to be shared with the world. And when you share this with the world, your love life gets initiated. And that is the higher purpose you belong to. So certain connections. Now, I can keep it very 3D. I'll tell you the message that I'm picking up. But before that, I'll tell you what's happening here. This love will only move forward if life purposes are initiated. If um, It's like a task that I'm picking up. I'm hearing the word. It's like... You have to do this in order to be able to get this. And I know that whoever is watching this reading or whoever has chosen this pile, you want a union with a certain person. You want this situation with a certain person. And it is coming. It's not like it won't. It will. But there is there are certain things that you have to achieve first. And one of them is sharing the wisdom that has been bestowed on you or has been i see it like a blessing like a light that okay if someone's given this light to you and this light has to be shared it has to be transmitted so till the time this light is not transmitted to the world there is going to be a stagnation in the connection or in the place where you are at right now in your relationship or your love life it might require you to travel. To initiate this story, it might require you to travel. It might also require you to speak up a certain truth. And in the next three months, this is like, it's like an itinerary that I'm seeing. Maybe you're about to travel. Um, when I say itinerary, what I mean is there is an itinerary in place already that, okay, this has to be done. One, two, three. This is how we move. This is what we do, etc., etc. And this itinerary has a purpose. Like, I mean, I'm seeing maybe you're going to be doing some events or you're going to be speaking uh, where, you know, you will be uh, addressing certain people with this knowledge, something like that. Next three months is about a process that needs to, that will lead you towards your union with a person. Okay. Let's see what I pick up from here.
yeah and i have the card tobacco which is reciprocity so i'm seeing that you will see a similar situation in this other person of yours also in their life as well they would also be doing the same kind of things you will see it um either they are already doing it or once you start you will start to see them also doing it okay so there is going to be this and and that's the biggest sign for you to understand that oh this is the person so you will see that you do things and then this person is also doing things and it is all aligning together okay and that way i think the universe is communicating with you sharing or showing you or giving you that hint that here it is this is how it's happening and this is how it's moving for you we pick some more cards here next three months i number 2 next three months king of pentacles okay one more thing i'm seeing that towards your person like whoever you have in your mind while i, I mean this is to do with love life like when i began only i got that vibe so whoever you have in your mind right now you will really not have to do too much in this situation it will start to fall into place automatically and you will see it it will fall it will fall automatically and you will see it you see it you'll be sleeping and you'll know that okay this is happening this is shifting this is changing and i don't have to put in any effort and it is changing on its own and it's building all these things will become more visible to you as soon as you start working on your purpose um also another thing you can keep a peacock feather in your house for some reason and the next gemini season which is coming will be very significant for you okay peacocks actually represent the gemini season so the next gemini season will be very significant one piece of advice i have for you and that is keep yourself um uh, hydrated nourished and do not indulge you're being asked to maintain a clean diet for some reason because that also plays a very important role in your spiritual understanding so when i say clean diet what i mean is keep a very clean way of being like don't indulge in too much drinking don't indulge in too much overeating or you know unhealthy basically take care of your temple that's what i'm picking up this is an extra piece of advice because this makes your intuitive voice even more louder for you Okay pile 2 that's what i have i hope this helps um it's strange like this energy just seems very connected with your love life see i think you also had a phase where you were stuck and you did not know what should be my next step what should i do and honestly your next step you could be pondering about your love life but your next step is not exactly in the love life but outside in your purpose mostly it's it's a step in that direction which will initiate a lot of things in your life okay all right that's what i have for you pile number 2 i hope this helps take care and i'll talk to you guys soon i love you all bye bye Okay, pile three. Whoever chose the black tourmaline, the stone. Let's see the next three months for you. Yeah, I have two cards. I'll see if they come back. Dry desert and stuck in the mud. But I will take that back if it comes again. I have solitude. golden path oh sorry golden palace okay in the next 3 months pile number 3 i'm seeing that finally you will get that clue that what am i not shifting um it's like that one final answer the final missing piece of the puzzle it's that 
you will find that and i'm seeing once you find it i don't think it is as problematic as you thought it was you will actually figure out that puzzle piece for yourself and you will also start to spend more time with yourself in the next 3 months i'm also seeing that maybe you never connected with your people like in general maybe the family that you were born in or the 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 people who you associated with you never connected with them and you needed this time alone where you know you had to go through that battle of like you know conflict and not knowing what to do and you know trying to understand trying to figure out whether should i do be in this direction or not be in this direction this i should do this i shouldn't do all these things okay you're moving in that direction and you are making place for yourself in the next 3 months now basically this had to go through this path of uh, understanding cuz i think you're a little connected to pile 2 you're supposed to share your story with the world pile 3 uh, now when i say share your story with the world like the walk that you just did like okay didn't work here so let me try this this didn't work let me try that so this whole walk okay had to go through the grind so that like i mean you share the story with the world you are able to talk your heart out with the world i mean not for yourself but for others to benefit out of it next 3 months i am seeing that you will understand how important this foundation was for you you'll start suddenly start to feel very very grateful about the way things panned out in your life you'll start to feel confident you'll start to feel uh, stable in your headspace you'll start to feel mature you'll start to feel uh, that you start to forgive things that's what i'm picking up let me see a little more eight of swords and ace of swords clarity 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 more like all those inhibitions are being shed off like when you looked at the mirror and you thought that what the hell what have i made of myself why has this happened with me why me all these questions are being answered all of these things are suddenly now falling into place for you and you just know now you just know what you want also seeing this aspect of it that there is a person who would approach you but you wouldn't want them any longer you will see the energetic shift and that energetic shift is not because you're bad or the other person is bad or who is bad who is good no it's simply because you have understood what you want from your life you're very clear about it that this is what i want and this is the direction in which i want to move and you understood that you are going to respond differently to this situation you are going to react to it very differently you are not going to um be ballistic about it or feel bad about it no you'll just let it go with a very calm mind and with a smile on your face you let it go let me see a little more crystal quads focus intensity okay so you will see that your words will become clear now when i say your words will become clear you will just know who do i need to speak to about what what do i need to say to whom and your words are going to have a huge impact on people like if you want something you will say it in a very articulate way 
like maybe in the past it wasn't very articulate now it will be now things will be clear for you now you will be able to proceed further now at this phase i think some people might just misunderstand you also because of the way things might just come and it's a very different side of your personality maybe a lot of people haven't seen that side of you yet so you might have conflicts also in the next 3 months but then this is the you now so you really cannot do much about it um if it leads to conflict if it makes certain people conflicted it is okay you really don't need to answer that much about these things all you need to do is just be in your element and that's what's happening here um maybe this is to do with this person who might want to be with you and you don't any longer want to be with this person because you've just understood why all this happened and that's the only shift that you probably needed and you're doing it you're doing it and you're doing it with all your heart and soul and it's coming from a place of love and love for yourself and that's a very beautiful thing to do uh you can use the crystal malachite and uh amethyst if possible because i'm seeing that uh, a combination of empathy and discretion can really help right now for you in order to avoid these little conflicts that can come up because it's like people might have issues but i know that you're not in the zone of being bothered by it that much but then it just might bother you you never know so let's just take these precautions from before now i'm just seeing that all you need to do is spend more and more time with yourself and this decision is going to become easier for you you will not feel guilty to choose yourself pile 3 and that's what's happening with you in the next 3 months i see a person who had probably left your life for whatever reasons is going to come back and you might not want it anymore okay all right so that's what i have for you pile 3 private readings are open you can reach out to me let me know in the comments if this resonated and take care i love you all i'll see you guys soon